Stephen, there was a review of Albion's last game against Swansea. Yeah, well, to start with the cliche, it was, a, it was a real game of two halves. First half, Albion were really dreadful, probably the worst they've played all season under any of the head coaches. Um, second half, they weren't brilliant football-wise, but they really got in Swansea's faces, really worked hard, definitely earned a draw. A draw would probably have been a fair, res- fair result than a win, but there were lots of games earlier in the season when, when the Albion... Uh, deserved to win the game and didn't so I'm sure they won't be apologising to, any, to anyone for getting a win in that game Any team news or injury news at home? Yeah lots of it um, Chris Brunt is still out as, as we know long term so is Diego Lugano um, Claudio Jacob is still missing and Jonas Olsen is suspended also Billy Jones Morgan and Marfitano are both major doubts they're both unlikely to play so that creates a real problem um, they played three centre backs last week but it's difficult to see how they're going to do that this week with, with Olsen missing no one to replace him so I suspect We'll see them revert to a back four. And what are your thoughts uh, on the whole match? Well, everyone's l- looking at Shane Long, uh, who obviously moved to Hull in January, saying he's bound to score against Albion. Um, I'm, I'm, sure that, I'm sure that the directors won't, won't be too, too keen for that to happen. They're already facing criticism for, for selling him. Um, I think it'll be another tough game. Long and Yellow, which I think are a different proposition to, uh, to Wilfried Boney, who wasn't great last week. But Albion will be full of confidence after last week, so I would probably go for a draw.